Hi, it's Mark here from Mark My Words, where we help people fast track a comeback from a life setback. You ever had a setback? Well, you've landed on the right channel. This is where we help people fast track that comeback to get back where you belong. If you are new to this channel, hey, consider subscribing to it. And while you're at it, hit the notifications bell. So that way, when we put out a new video, you'll be up to date with the latest content that we produce here at Mark My Words. Personal brand, your personal brand. Is it important? Is it something you need to be concerned about? Is it working for you or working against you? Or doesn't it matter at all? These are questions we'll be discussing on this video. And I'll be sharing some tips on how to build your personal brand so it can work for you and complement you and help you fast track your comeback or rebuild or build to what you're looking to achieve over the next short to medium term. Your personal brand is very important. It's how you show up, right? It's how you communicate who you are, what you're about, and the values and passions that you have in your life that are either going to draw others to you or repel others away from you. Communication is really important and in all communication, it's only a small percentage of what we say. Uh, a larger percentage again is how we say it and the majority of our communication is in our body language. It's how we communicate non-verbally. It's our gestures, our attitudes, our, our posture. All these things can work for us or against us. I, I can remember back when I was a younger guy being very concerned about the opinions of what others thought of me. And I can't honestly say I'm 100% relieved of that mindset. I am still concerned about what some people think, but these days it's more people who are on my inner circle who are um, who I've given authority to to speak into my life. People who I respect, I admire, who I love, uh, people who I really value their input. I'm curious, more curious to know what their thoughts are about who I am and how I'm operating. And if there's any blind spots that I have that may be causing me to be less than what I potentially could be. So today it's more, you know, what other people think of me is really none of my business. It's what I think of me that counts. And it's the same with you. What other people think of you is none of your business. It's what you think of you that matters. So how do you develop your personal brand? What are some of the things to be aware of? And let's just talk about a few of these real quick. Your personal brand really is your communication. It's communicating to the world, those close to you and those who are at arm's length, who you associate with every day. And it's a message that you're giving. And that message is really important around what it is in terms of, is it working with you and advancing your life or is it working against you? And the truth is that when people are in your company, in my company, they either feel inspired or they feel drained. <laughs> you know, they are looking forward to me turning up or they're looking forward to me leaving. <laughs> um, you know, what do they say? Visits always give pleasure. If not in the coming, then in the going. And I believe there's an element of truth to that. So if that is true, then I wonder what people feel when I'm in their company. And I, I'm guessing that you're thinking the same thing. When you walk into a room, is there? do you add to the atmosphere of that room or do you take away from it? I, I'm, I'm sure there's been many rooms that I've walked into in my life where it was like a cl I walked in and the cloud sort of followed me. It was stages of my life where I was really going through some tough times and I really didn't have too much to offer when it came to adding value because I was struggling in a huge way with my own situation at the time. But I think there's been times also where I've walked into a room where I've hopefully added to the atmosphere. I've 
you know, complemented the atmosphere. I've complemented the conversation. I've added energy to it and life to it and given some direction. So in that sense, you know, you have a platform, you have a, a sense of credibility, I suppose, with those people. So your personal brand says a lot about who you are at any given time. And it's important to be aware of a few things. And to be a VIP, very inspiring person, or a VDP, a very draining person, yeah, you know, they're simple uh, categories, I guess. Not that you look at everybody in the category, but the truth is that some people that you associate with every day uh, either are inspiring you to be better, become more, do more, um, and lift you up and, and build you, and other people tend to drain you. You know, they're people that when you've been in their company, they tend to drain a lot of life and energy from you. And that's not being judgmental, it's just the reality of how some relationships are. So how do we ensure that whatever personal brand we have is working for us, not against us? Well, the main thing is to be aware of that VIPs generally are energetic people. They bring energy, right? Do you have energy? What gives you energy? Energy is given when you are heading towards somewhere. You have a vision for your life. You have a vision for the organization that you're a part of. You have a vision for the group you're a part of. You have a vision for your family. You have a vision for your relationship, if you're in an intimate relationship. You have a vision for your children. When you have a vision and and you are working towards achieving something, you tend to spend a lot of your mental energy and mental focus on that vision. And when you speak vision, it's amazing that people who do speak with a sense of energy and they have life. And the words have life and their body language has life. And I wonder if, that, if that's you. I wonder if that's me, you know. I hope it is. I hope that you know, I feel like I, I've got a lot to look forward to uh, for for my family and for those who are working with me on the various projects that I do. So we talk about the future. We talk about what, what it will be like when. Planning, dreaming, scheming, hoping. These are things that are forward-focused qualities that we must possess to be a VIP and to be an inspiring person to add atmosphere and add value to any room that you walk into. You're authentic. Authenticity is an important one as well. Authenticity is being the real you privately and the real you publicly. Those two people are the same. Who is the real you? You know, are you happy in your own skin? Do I like the person I am when I'm the only person in the room? Uh, Because if I don't like that person and I am in some way at war with that person, Big chance that I'm going to be at war with others that, that come into that room. Because what you are internally is what you give off to others. You know, you, what you have is what you give. If there's not a sense of peace about who you are and what you're about, and a relative happiness in who you are, and happiness in your own skin, I mean, then it's going to be very hard to communicate that authentic person that you need to communicate that enables others to be drawn to you through authenticity. Are you, in an unhealthy way, caring too much about the opinions of other people? The opinions of the committee called they. What do they think? You know, it's very important that you have, in my life, I have a handful of people who I love, who I respect, and who I value their insight and wisdom and I give them authority to speak into my life, right? Do you have those four or five people that you've given authority to speak into your life? That if you have a character flaw, if I have a character flaw and it's costing me in some way, in a negative way, then those four or five people who I've given authority to speak into my life can pull me up before it costs me too much time. It costs me too many other broken relationships it costs me in a negative way too much so i give those guys say hey if you see me do something dumb you tell me about it so i can make the necessary personal adjustments 
And I ask those four or five key people who I've given authority to in my life to speak into my life that way. I'm, I'm wondering if you have those people in your world. And if not, what would be a plan that you could put in place to have those four or five people over time come into your world that you give that authority to? Just to keep you on track, it's like having an accountability partner and to protect you from yourself. Uh, sometimes I need protecting from myself, I'm not sure about you. But that way, when you do, you are not as concerned about the committee called they, everybody else. In fact, what other people think of you is none of your business. It's what you think of you that counts. And how you develop a healthy, authentic personal brand is being really aware of what you think of you and making sure that what you do think is healthy, is, is complementary to the lives of other people. You're serving other people. You are at peace with who you are and where you're going and what you're about. So on the other hand, you have VDPs. And of course, VDPs are people who are very draining people. They're people that you come into contact with. And within a short period of time, you kind of know that you this is going to be a long two or three minutes <laughs> or two or three hours, whatever the case may be. They're people that just drain you. And it's not their fault necessarily. It's just sometimes you don't connect or click with that particular person. But other times it's because they're basically negative. They're looking in the past all the time. So inspirational people tend to spend more time looking towards the future. Whereas draining people tend to be tend to spend more time looking towards the past. Um, they talk about, you know, I, VIPs talk about events and plans and dreams. VDPs talk about past events, people, and gossip. Um, you know, they tend to be, VDPs tend to be erratic in their behavior. They're high maintenance type people who need a lot of um, care. And you never quite know what you're going to get with VDPs. You know, some days they're really high, other days they're low. And there's just a, a, a massive swings between highs and lows. And sometimes it's because they're going through some serious life issues and that's more the exception than the rule. But it's a transition to from being that VDP to a VIP. It's being aware of some of these character flaws and knowing that, hey, you know, you can become that person, that inspiring person that brings energy into a room. It's never too late to learn to be that guy. And part, part of that or that girl, one of the ways you do that is just being okay with who you are. And, and how you do that is by having some key people in your life that you've given authority to speak into your life that can give you some tips when you are heading off track and you are perhaps have a, a few abrasive um, ways about your personality that tend to be rubbing people up the wrong way or it cause you to be churning up too much mental energy on the wrong things. So personal brand is really about a lot, some, a lot more about what's happening inside of us than it is about what we wear, how we do our hair, um, what car we drive, what house we live in. To ensure a personal brand which is healthy. Here's four things that I've learned to do that may help you as well. Number one, gratitude. Be thankful. Be thankful for what you have every day. I th just having that attitude of gratitude is such a great way to be squared away when it comes to your own confidence and who you are and, and your own personal brand's message that you're giving out to the world. When you appreciate and are genuinely thankful for some of the small things and little things in your life as much as the big things, you cannot give off a, a communication that is very much about you're at peace with who you are and you're happy with who you are in your own skin. And that's a great way to live, I think. Peace is, is probably the best prize you can get. If you've got inner peace, I tell you what, no money in the world can buy inner peace. It's an attitude. It's a, and sometimes that comes from an attitude of gratitude. Prayer, if you do, if you do pray, make sure that you're praying and giving thanks for what you have in your life. Exercise is a huge part of it. Staying physically active, being intentional around your exercise each day, 
causes so many good things to happen in our inside of us, not just the physical, but the mental and the spiritual as well. It's the endorphins that get pumped through your body, set you up for a great day when you do exercise first thing. Of course, nutrition and reading the right material. So what you read is very important. Are you reading healthy stuff that build, it's building you up, that's causing you to grow and stretch and become more and think bigger and, and improve your capacity? Or are you reading material that is draining you, instilling fear and doubt and confusion? So supplement your diet, unhealthy diet of what you read that causes anxiety in your life with a healthy diet that causes peace and vision and life. It's very important that you choose which diet you subscribe to. Your personal brand is not about what you do. Your personal brand is more about who you are. You know, so many guys um, are affected by their own personal performance. So if their performance is high and they have a success or a win, they feel good about themselves. And if they're conversely, if their performance is low and the outcomes that they are hoping for weren't achieved, they feel really bad about themselves. And so when your identity of who you are is linked to performance, it's a dangerous way to live because it's really hard for you to be at peace with who you are when who you are is based on performance because some days you're going to have a great day and some days your days aren't going to be so great. Spend less, anchor less of your identity and your personal brand on your performance and anchor it more in having that confidence and knowing that you're okay, that you don't have to necessarily prove yourself all the time to be right because that person is just never insatiable appetite that can never be quenched when you have to prove yourself all the time. Know that you're okay. You're created unique. There's not one of it, not another one of you on the planet. You can live from a platform of peace. You can have a significant life being at peace with who you are and where you're going. And that's the ultimate goal is peace. Knowing who you are. So your personal brand projects an attractive, inspiring message not one that is repulsive and uninspiring. So if you are new to the channel, as I said, consider subscribing to it. In the descriptions panel below, you'll notice a link to my 10 bold steps. These are 10 bold steps that I took to help me fast track my comeback from my serious life setback. I will ask you for your email address and that way you'll be able to get those sent straight into your inbox my 10 bold steps that I took that helped me fast track my comeback and they are yours today free. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that's added some value to your day and to your future. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video.